Hi guys, this is Flash here and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Now in the last part, we had a time skip, everything went down, we are now in control of Lucas, the main character of this game, and things are only getting cooler from here. Girl is styling clothes are on the ground, ooh boy. Girly girly girl in the hot tub, no it is not girly girly girl. <laughs> oh god, I'm regretting everything, we have to bail, please bail now. Please, get out of here. <laughs> the awkward situation is through the roof. Um... Oh, uh, no, that wasn't you. Oh, wait, you get you told us to get avenge your mother? Or you told class to do that? And magic butterfly, we've already ran into a million of those already. You don't have to... Yes, I've warned myself after overusing my PSI. That's how things work. Um, are you here because you overused your PSI too? We have none of that PSI, man. You never heard of PSI? That's odd. I sense lots, loads of magical power coming from you. Ooh, that's great. Give me some of that. Oh, no. No, not, not on these costs, though, man. No, you're still just a child. Um, just endure it for a bit. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's, uh, let's just pretend none of this is ever happening. Who knows what the context of this even means? I'm just going to assume he's, I don't know, like, patting us on the head or something. You know. <laughs> Activating our magical powers somehow. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. You done? Something awoke inside of Lucas. He learned life up A. He learned healing A. And power welled up from deep within his heart. He learned the power of PK love. Alpha. Awesome. Learned how to use PSI. Why do you think you tell us that first? Huh? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You can use PK love? That's like a cool move, I guess. Not even we mad gypsies are able to use it. Oh man. So we got cool power that no one else has. That's such a protagonist thing, man. Um, but we might meet again. Okay, that's great. Lucas. All right, I'll remember that. Now go. I don't want. I I want to boil up too. I guess so. Have fun in your hot springs. So cool. We got PK powers just like that. How how simple was it? Simple. I don't know. We have it now though. We can actually use it off. Lucas. Um, besides PK Love, which is a good damaging, deals major damage to all enemies, besides that, he is mostly kind of a healer person, so he will learn a lot of, uh, support magic. So just keep that in mind. So let's, let's test this out in some new enemies, why not? A really flying mouse. Yeah, they really upgraded their flying mouse tech, man. They don't even need wings anymore. So let's try PK Love after Boney attacks before, of course, because, you know, Boney is much faster than Lucas. Did, did, I, that was horrible. I didn't even know what the timing was there. All right, we're just gonna destroy shit with our mind. Oh my goodness, the damage, the damage. It's 10 PP though, so you know it's kind of pricey, but damn. Which reminds me, um, we want to give our bomb items. So now that we're uh, we, we're gonna have, from here on now we're gonna have kind of a, a stable party, so we don't have to like you know constantly be switching roles. Uh, Boney. Or who knows, maybe there still might be time to switch. But Boney, um, he is the fastest person in the group, not that high of an attack. He doesn't really have much skills going for him, so I usually make him the dedicated item user. He's going to be using items like a pro. Um, he's always the first to go, so he can use items almost immediately, So which is good for healing. That's very good for healing, you know. So It's good practice to give Boney all the healing items and damaging items just in the future. I should make sure I reorganize my, my uh, inventory to accommodate that. And a mushroom headbutt, that did a good amount of damage. Luckily, um, Lucas knows the awesome healing magic, and hopefully this- he doesn't kill me, right? No, oh, thank god I missed. So there we go, look at that. <laughs> who needs mushrooms anymore, or who needs, uh, items anymore, when you got magical powers? Um, there we go, we're gonna do the salsa, the salsa on this goddamn mushroom dog. And, um, hopefully kill it. Nope, no, nope, he's good. He sounds like he's got a good amount of HP on us. Head, he, we are confused right now, so I'm surprised Lucas hasn't, like, hurt himself in confusion. But we will do the moonwalk for a good amount of time before we get better. Um, luckily it's not too long. So, let's see. Yeah, so I'm gonna give all this ID, I'm gonna give all my healing items. Maybe save, like, one to, uh, Boney, because, you know... Why, why, why should Lucas be doing the healing when he's busy doing the magic and the psychic healing? He can heal people with his mind now. We, we, uh... Boney can't heal people with his mind, so... But luckily, he can heal people with biscuits, and... Which, I will admit, is just as cool as a way to heal people. <laughs> there's psychic powers and then there's biscuits. I, I feel like they... They're pretty, they're pretty equal on the, uh, scale of healing coolness. 
in my eyes at least. Um, so yes, more level ups. We gotta, we gotta start level grinding too, actually, because, you know, we're, we don't want to be low leveled or anything. And you don't, you um, in Mother, in, 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 in the first Earthbound, you kind of had to be, well, not first, yeah, well, in Earthbound, you kind of had to be conservative about how you use your PP, maybe early game. In this game, you don't have to be worried about that too much. There's always going to be, like, hot springs everywhere, and there's always going to be, like, you know, PP healing items. Please don't write graffiti on signs like hot dog or dog food or dog dog. But okay, more rats, I guess. Why not? And I'm getting these 16 hit combos, except they're just off screen, so you know. That's sad. Maybe I can do one on screen, hopefully. While talking, maybe. That would be the ultimate achievement. Something I don't think I can do. A propeller attack? Oh, good god. Okay. No, no. Just, just kidding. Can't do any of that. But it does happen. You just gotta, you know, stay calm and not talk. But, you know. If we actually did one, maybe we would have been able to save ourselves from 32 damage. Just throwing that out there. Um, you have a bread roll, Boney. Why not? HP is maxed out. That might have not been the wisest of ideas. But whatever, Sparrow, what's up? What advice do you have for us? Um, yes, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we knew, we knew that already, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, Sparrow. Um, so let's cross the bridge. Hopefully no train absolutely kills us. Thank goodness. Always a problem. I don't think a train will actually come unless you spend like way too much time on the train track. Um, let's fight these guys because uh Oh cool, they have a cool theme. <laughs> a hard theme to combo to, but a cool theme. <laughs> my goodness, my uh my controller picks the worst times to just stop working. I had that in the bag, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna jaw on hard about that. And he's almost out of, uh, Lucas is almost out of PP, we gotta worry about that, maybe, now. Not really. <laughs> I guarantee you there's a hot spring, like, maybe, like, one or two screens away. We don't have to worry about nothing. Um, we done yet? Let's rock on the train tracks. Oh god, no, bad idea. <laughs> we do have to worry about things. That is, that is now, in fact, the case. That was pretty badass, though. I'm kinda glad I watched that scene just for that. Um... So uh, these are um, cattle snakes. I think their their names are. They're they're pretty tame animals. They won't go to attack you. You can attack them and fight them for a good amount of e um, exp if you want to like you know play the danger game because they have. There's a good chance they might wreck you. I, I'm not too worried about that though. Uh, what I'm more worried about is these these bastards. This might be a problem if there's. If there, do I have to, no? Okay, never mind. I thought I had to face all three. I can do one at a time. That's good. Because they're just going to use life up A like a dumbass in the very first turn. I mean, who even does that? I don't know what this theme is called either. I like it though. It's a nice theme. Okay, now he's being annoying. Because he just totally undid everything we did to him that turn. But whatever. All is good in the neighborhood now. Do we have to fight the other two? We don't have to, but we could. Um, I almost want to fight one of those uh, cows. Even though I'm kind of positive they would totally wreck us. And if we did fight one of those cows, we'd be sent back quite a ways and we're right at our destination. Youngsters, here's a chance to refute beautiful sweat. Come work part-time at the factory. Okay, looks like we're going to become working mans. I'm not slacking off at all. Okay, he's just keeping his eye on people who are slacking off. Thank you, man. Um, yes, we do need something. Save. So I'm going to save stock up and maybe take on one of those cows just for the lols because you know why not um there should be an instant revitalizing device somewhere nearby no no maybe not but there's a vending machine that sells fizzy soda beef jerky and nothing pp healing but beef jerky sounds pretty swell actually we might have to restore stuff we might have to buy some good stuffs um anything 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 I'm, I'm, what am I even looking at? Oh yeah, the, my Lucas's lack of HP. That's what I was looking at. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it for the lols. I, I want to fight one of those uh, cow snake things. And if it turns out we get wrecked, well, then whatevers. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Um, no, not no, damn it. Oh, awesome, I did that in the right person. Awesome. So he's not dead. Well, now he's dead. We, uh, at least Lucas isn't dead. And now I'm dead, okay. <laughs> Lesson learned, guys. Don't pick fights with innocent creatures. With, because they've done nothing wrong, guys. <laughs> this is, this is the, the law of the splintered paddle in the ancient Hawaiians. 
Um, <laughs> and now we're dead, guys. We are so dead. He did moral damage to us twice while we're in mortal peril. Okay, cool. Bad idea. We lost two bombs in that. We lost two bombs in that process. But we learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Don't fuck with nature, or chimera altered nature. My 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 my. Oh my goodness. Can my can my. Oh, maybe this is the cord that's stupid. That would make a lot of sense. I I, I totally believe that. Um, I do have a cord, uh, like a controller cord that is absolutely stupid. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? We want to go to Club Titty Boo, that's right. Well, that's a special place for workers to relieve their daily exhaustion, not for people who don't work there. Well, then we'll just work here. Simple as that. Um, just do some part-time work here. Really? Is that is it that easy to get a job? My goodness. <laughs> go into Tasmania, man. Um, transport clay men, go inside and bring them back. Okay. Sounds monotonous. One at a time sounds even more monotonous. Bring back three. And we got a dungeon map. Okay, this sounds like it's going to be some monkey delivery service all over again. The name of, you know, the person in the background. You're breaking the fourth wall, man. Um, the player's name. <laughs> he just had to say it. Okay, haven't we? Yes, we've done this already. But I guess we can change it now. We Could we really? Yeah, we could. I wonder if we could change it to hard mode. Would it just magically be like, oh, you're playing hard mode now, man. But whatever. Um, that is, in fact, my name. Not, not in fact my name. That's my internet alias, my nickname, internet alias, I suppose. Um. All right, so work hard, goody goody hooray. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. I, I, I apologize if you can hear that constant plugging and unplugging in my controller because that's annoying. You have to do what the boss dog says. Oh man, he's, he's working for a boss dog. Even the dogs have to work. I'm sorry, Boney. But you'll be the best goddamn dog worker ever. I want to see you in a business suit, Boney. That'd be amazing. <laughs> um, Claymen's low on energy are very weak, so you'll know which ones they are right away. Okay, so we have to find dead claymen, or low on energy claymen, and re-energize them. This is a weird, weird process, I swear. What's up, Boney? Um, it's nice to exercise every once in a while. Oh, yes, here, here's the instant revitalizing device. I don't think there's enemy enemy. There aren't any enemies down here. My goodness, my mouth is just babbling like crazy um I, yeah I, I imagine there wouldn't be because they're pretty much kicking bony away from us so now we have some working to do so have fun with a uh, working time going down the ladder so our job um as you can see in this map is to find like slow uncool looking claymen and bring them back that looks like a hard working claymen so he doesn't need to be brought back Neither do any of these guys. I might have think we're looking in the entirely wrong place, but this guy, look at him. He's not doing none, nothing. So we have to bring him back very slowly. We have to walk our way back. Luckily, as I've stated before, the use of the speed up button. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely sight, I swear. I can't live without it, I swear. Um, my, uh, my conscience is fading. I don't, I don't, I don't, I have no regrets. I'll tell you this right now. You might only regret it's that stupid dog in the background that's barking like mad. I love dogs, but not that dog. That dog's uncool. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. It's not his fault, though. He's, he's been caged up all his life. I don't like it's It's such a travesty. Like, this is totally, like, off subject. But, like, if you're going to have a dog, don't keep him in cage. That's just cruel. Like, oh, my goodness. I don't know what those neighbors are doing. But whatever. That's beside the point. Um... What is up, Boney? Wait, yes. <laughs> Speed up button. That's what the but that's what we live for. We have to slowly guide his fate to a revolution. A game I totally haven't finished that I probably should. Alright. So he's gonna zap him up, right? With energy. I'd imagine clays when clay men wouldn't be very conductive. But I guess they have like a, a mechanical system in them that makes them cool like that. Um and he's just gonna run. Look at how yeah, he, he looks like he's on it this time. Okay, so there's two more up there. Only two more to go. Hooray! So I will meet you... Um, nah, I don't have to meet you anywhere, right? We can we can search... We can search together, guys. Um, so where is the second one? Right here! Oh, thank goodness. A freebie. <laughs> Yay! Not when I'm... Not when I'm, uh... Like that, though. So awesome. Here you go, man. Here you go, man. Just a sec. Cool. Do we have to take that? Oh, we do have to take this one up here too. Okay. How you doing, Boney? I hope we can actually do things very quickly so you don't have to run too much. Alright, you can just leave it here and go get the next one. Awesome. Only one more. 
Um, so yes, I, I do want to just cut something randomly just to turn off, like, you know, uh, the dog. I can't turn off the dog, actually. That's not something within my realm of capabilities. Uh, but close the window. Hopefully that makes things better. Luckily, this guy isn't too far away either. Um, they gave us, you know, they, um, the first one was the worst, and but now the second one was, in fact, the best. That saying, as a kid, is, in fact, true in this situation. And the third one was unremarkable in any way, shape, or form. Just throw- oh my goodness, this goddamn dog. <laughs> it'd be so funny if you could- I, I, I swear you guys- I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it, but you know, it'd be funny if you couldn't, and I was just rambling on about nothing. <clears throat> okay, cool. So that was actually some quick work. We are done. I mean, we're not done yet. What's... You have a weird hairdo, man. I'm just throwing this out there. Hey, Lucas, come to see me. You didn't? How's Flint? I see. Okay. What's... <laughs> you know, I haven't even seen... Fl I, sh I probably should have talked to our... We should probably should have talked to our fathers before we left on this crazy journey. That would have been a good idea. Um, don't forget to get your pay for Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. Awesome. We finished our work. Work fanfare. The best fanfare. You finished your part-time job. Awesome. <clears throat> and it didn't even take 18 minutes. Uh, Boney, you're done, bro. You're free. Um, no, you're not. <laughs> you're free when we talk to Mr. B uh, Brown or whatever the hell his name was. What's up, Mr. Brown? Um, good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day's work. A ticket. Oh, okay, I was expecting money. Oh, yes. No, we get money, too. Awesome. Um, we can work up even more? No, we're not working here anymore. I'll tell you this right now gone really late what about uh you gonna give you gonna give bony his pay yo man yo man <laughs> dogs deserve work too dog deserve money too what are you doing what are you doing this is uh this is discrimination whatever so we got our ticket to club titty boo i guess in the next part we will be heading up there so oh yeah this is a cool guy before i uh, uh, end it off this is the item deposit guy so if you have too many items just give them to him and he has, he's pretty much just an item bank and it's very very convenient because you know how horribly like clustered your uh, inventory can get in the Earthbound games in the Mother series and just how annoying Escargo Express was this game this game is much more cool about that but whatever in the next part we will be heading up on to Club Titty Boo but until then this has been Skip Flash hope you've enjoyed watching bye